this is Kendra and I wanted to share my Hobby Lobby haul with you. This was a pretty big one. I kind of went a little crazy, but we'll start with the stamp sets that I got, or stamps I should say. Uh, everything was on clearance that I bought. This is uh, a set of wood stamps. Sometimes I don't want to get out my stamping platform and I just need to stamp a thank you real quick, so that's why I bought these. These are only $3.24 for six stamps and then this was a background stamp that i bought it's hero arts for 374 and then i also got this i already peeled off the sticker on this one but this one is a quick happy birthday in a circle I figured i'd use this a lot where i could stamp real quick in whatever color i need and cut it out with a circle punch and this was only a dollar and then I bought and I peeled these off also. I got these two um, Mickey Mouse stamp sets for $2.49. Sorry for the glare. Um, thought these were really cute. I've got some magical adventure paper that these will look awesome with. And then I got this stamp set. And I mainly bought this because there's a robot on it and I need that for craft roulette. So this was only $2.49 also, and it's super cute. It's also got a little, I think that's an alien. I'm not sure, but I'm good to go for when that's put back on the craft roulette parameters. And then I got some inks. I went ahead and pulled the sticker off of this, but this was only $1.49. I got this Versafine Clear for $1.99. And then I got this uh, set of holiday tones. These are little wedges for $4.24. That was an awesome deal because some of these look metallic and I don't really have a whole lot of metallic inks. Now let me see, what else did I get? I got a couple of embossing powders, uh, cottontail and gold, and these were only a dollar. And I don't know if it was because the packaging on this was messed up, but my goodness, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. And then I did get some some little sacks and things. These are little zipper bags. These were $1.24. I got lots of envelopes for $1.74. These are for five by seven cards. Um, I got some metallic or shiny silver, gray, more gray, and then some pink. I always need envelopes. Now this was not on sale, but their, their little wax seal stamps were on sale for $1.74. So of course I had to buy this, but I forgot to buy wax. So I'm gonna have to get some wax, but thought that was really cool. I've never used those before to seal my cards. I also bought these holographic bags, craft bags for $2.99. I mean, they're pretty by themselves, and I like to decorate my bag sometimes, so um, this don't even need to be decorated, and it's pretty. And I got a bunch of stickers. So these were $1.24. They're dimensional, these owls with the glitter. And then these are die cut stickers. I'm not going to open all these up, my goodness, but there's um, these are fall stickers with like sunflowers and pumpkins, fall is in the air, a little coffee mug. Oh, shows on the back, haha. -ha. Okay, so this is what comes in this, and these were only $1.24. That'll make for some quick cards. And I got two packages of these butterflies. I think these are just beautiful. They have foil accents, but this is what is inside. So some dragonflies and moths and even a bee and a beetle. I've got two of those. And then I'm a teacher, so I've got some seniors who are going to be graduating this year. So I bought these die cut stickers to make some cards for them. These were not clearance, but they were 40% off. So I went ahead and bought those. I got these American flag glitter foam stickers for 87 cents and then I bought three of these mainly because I have a paper pad in these colors that's just simply 
gorgeous. I love the papers in it. And these will make for some quick cards also, but these were each 99 cents. Let's see, I also bought some card stock. These are some of the colors that I have a hard time finding to match up with a couple of my paper pads. So I had to, had to get this. This was 40% off also from $7.99. Now for my <laughs> paper crafting kits. Now I'll be using these probably for cards, but these are more, I guess, for scrapbook. But this first one, this is an inspirational kit. It's got stickers, um, die cuts, frames, and then all of these papers here. Let me see if it's on the back. Oh, yeah. So all of these die cut shapes here. And these are the papers. I'm not a big fan of the big prints for cards because it's, it's just hard to see how pretty they are when you cut them down. But all of these smaller ones I could definitely use for cards. But this one is inspirational for $1.74. This is an Easter paper crafting kit that's got obviously lots of Easter themed stickers and pastel colors, and then some die cut shapes. These are the prints. Again, I love these three for cards, and then the shapes that come in it. Got two of these, two of those. Or no, three, excuse me. <laughs> and then I got this Faith Paper Crafting Kit. This one is probably more for for like a, a planner is what I'll use it for, for these stickers anyway. And then I can use these bigger um, die cut shapes. Let me turn it over. So yeah, like thankful, blessed, grateful, precious. I really like those. And while I'm showing you this, I'll show you this watercolor extra heavyweight cardstock that I bought, 110 pounds. This is great for card bases, but I didn't even know they had extra heavy weight in prints like, like this. So I thought this would match really well with this kit. So I got this 40% off, but yeah. And then this is the Hello Little Angel. This is for welcoming new babies. I just love these dimensional stickers in here. That was the main reason I bought it for $1.74. But yeah, look at all these uh, alphabet gold stickers also. This ephemera here. And then these prints are pretty good for cards. Yeah, I went a little crazy. And then this one, farmhouse paper crafting kit. So I mainly got it for these big things that I could use for focal images on, on cards, and I just thought these were pretty. And then this Gone Fishing, I created a set of cards with Kendra's Card Challenge number nine using this kit, and everybody loved my fish cards because it's hard to find masculine, it's hard to make masculine cards sometimes, but um, I bought this so that I could make more of those just to show you. I did not use the paper in this kit, but I used the ephemera. And this one wasn't on sale, but because I, it was there in stock, I had to buy it. So, I, But I did get it 40% off. All right, I still have more. <laughs> I bought some craft sticker, or sorry, scissors. It's 6 a.m. by the way, and I couldn't sleep, so I had to get on up to film this. But anyway, I got these scissors. I bought some twine for $1.12. I got two packs of those. I got two of these. And I mainly bought this for the envelopes. <laughs> they are pretty, but I mainly bought these for the envelopes because it has 50 cards and envelopes for only $2.62. So I'm sure I'll use these cards too somewhere else, but. Yep, they have foil accents on them and you can't beat that for $2.62. I bought some extra heavyweight cardstock in craft because I didn't have any. All I had was the real thin stuff. So um, I got this 40% off. And 
then <laughs> now for the big paper pads. I went a little crazy, didn't I? I got this for $5.74, and this is just entirely textures, and there's tape on it, so I can't really open it up, but I'll just kind of thumb through so you can see wood, wood, uh, wood grain, not sure what to call these textures, but these are definitely going to be good for mats and creating layers on my cards, and because it's thin paper, it's not going to make it heavier, which is good because I need to try not to make my cards so heavy because sometimes when I go to mail my cards they're more than an ounce and it costs extra but yeah I was really excited to find this because that's a lot of paper there's 180 sheets in there also bought this watercolor patterns for 574 this is also taped, but you can see all the different designs, excuse me. <coughs> but it has the silver foil, it's holographic. Um, really pretty, and that will also go well with this. So super excited about that. Got that for $5.74, almost done. <laughs> We're down to my last bag. I got this photo album for $6.12. I thought this would make a good wedding gift. So that's the main reason I bought it. And then I bought a bunch of packs of these. These are some of my favorite colors. It's got the silver foil in there. It's got white plus some teals and dark blue. I definitely need these colors, $1.49, so I bought like five packs of these. So yeah, that is my Hobby Lobby haul. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon.